we were reading the book to them. So there was definitely sort of a understanding that this was a fictional book, but I think the introduction with the random grade one kid that just stumbled upon this coded message and the fact that it didn't feel manufactured from us and we played it up a little bit at the start with a little bit of acting and it just got the kids in. They were convinced that there was an Iron Man. It felt like it wasn't just Andrew and Damien making it up. So that was where that, yeah, that buy-in came in. Once one kid came up with that other footprint that we hadn't even created, that sort of gave us the freedom to then be like, hold on, that's a, there's a bit of a mess over there, what could that be? It wasn't even necessarily created by us, but it just helped to fuel that excitement and the, the wonder. And every broken branch was, you know, the Iron Man walking through that space and we were able to really ham that up and, you know, say, what, what could that be? Like, that's that's gotta be the Iron Man, doesn't it? In that respect, we didn't necessarily dress up. It was our energy, I guess, that helped create the play. I definitely got more interested in maths from this project, I guess. Yeah. It was definitely way more fun this way than doing, like giving you a piece of paper and just working out simple math problems, actually having to discover and build something for him.